Now let's see what are the topics that I am going to cover in this 2D reflection. We will see what exactly the transformation is and we will see what are the different types of the 2D transformation. In those types, one of the technique is the 2D reflection. So we will work out on what exactly the 2D reflection is. <coughs> Excuse me. The type of reflection along x-axis and the example problems, right? So what is 2D transformation? First of all, what is a transformation? It's a general meaning, transforming the things. Either it may be an object or it may be a picture or it may be a thing, anything. So we are trying to transform this appearance. There is appearance, right? So if you capture a picture, you are trying to transform your picture by applying some filters. In the same way, if you want, if you are a very stout person, if you want to transform into a uh, very thin by, by applying some rules, by following some uh, guidelines, you are going by doing some exercises you are trying to transform your structure that is a transformation the general meaning so here is also whatever the object that is already created that object is going to be transformed their size or orientation or shape anything okay so that is a transformation transformation is nothing but it's changing some graphics to another picture by simply applying the rules so this is one of the most important uh, role. The, this transformation is playing very important role in the computer graphics field and it is trying to reposition the graphics on the screen and change their size or orientation. And I already said you have to apply the transformation only on already created objects. If the object is there, then only you can apply the transformation, right? So 2D transformation applies on 2D dimensional planes. So now let's see the different types of the transformations. The different types of the transformations that are used in the computer graphics are the translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and the refraction. So these all types of transformations can be applied on the 2D images as well as the 3D images also. So in this video, I'm going to explain about the reflection. So first of all, whenever we are trying to evaluate the word reflection, the first thing that came into your mind is it's a mirror image. A 2D reflection evaluates the mirror image of an object. So the reflection can be done along x-axis, along y-axis, along x is equal to y line, along the origin also. So now let's see along x-axis. Consider a point a px comma y on xy plane then the new point whatever the x dash y dash is the reflection about x axis because I am talking about along x axis. So it is reflection about x axis. So it will be given as the new point x dash is same only. Okay. But y dash it is changing to minus y. So see here in the image this is the your original one and this is the reflected one. Reflected reflected image okay so the matrix forms is represented as x dash y dash is 1 0 0 minus 1 uh, into x y that is a new if you want to find the new coordinates the old coordinates will be multiplied with the reflection so p dash is equal to p into reflection x so in the same way, if you want to go with along y-axis, here, so here the y remains the same only and x dash is becomes here the minus x. Okay. And this is the matrix form representation along y-axis. And if you go with the about x is equal to y line, means in the same line x is equal to y line only. So if you consider any point p x comma y on the plane, so let's take any consider any point p x comma y on the plane, then p x dash y dash is a reflection about x is equal to y line. That means that it will be changing x dash becomes y and y dash becomes x. It is simply changing its coordinates. So this is a matrix form representation of about x is equal to y line and coming to along horizon. So considering a point p x comma y on x y plane then the new coordinates p dash x dash y dash is the reflection about origin means x dash becomes minus x and y dash becomes the minus y. X dash becomes minus X and Y dash becomes minus. So both are in the same negative quadrant. So this is a negative quadrant. You know that, right? So both are the negative quadrant. So this is a matrix form representation of along origin. X dash Y dash is minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 into X, Y. So now let's work with an example. Then you get a clarity on how the object is going to be reflected here, right? 
So let's take this is P, Q or let me draw the original image. Then we will later we will see about the reflected image how it look like. Okay. So let's take 2, 4, 6. Okay. And this is 2, 4, 6. This is along x axis and this is y axis and here uh, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6 and this is minus 2, minus 4 and minus 6, right? So, let's take our coordinates. What are this uh, given coordinates? P, 5, comma 4. This is 5 and somewhere here 5, comma 4. Okay, this is the P coordinate and Q, 2, comma 2. So, this is the Q coordinate and 5, comma 6. This is 5 and this is a 6. Okay. So, this is your, sorry, sorry, 5, right? I'm sorry. Let me erase this. Okay. So, this is 5. So, x-axis of 5. This is 5. And here, this is a 6. Okay. So, this is the R coordinate. So, this is the triangle. This is the original one. This is the original one. Now try to find the new coordinates. So let's take uh, uh, our coordinate P, 5, comma 4. Let's find out this is X0 and Y0. Try to find out the P dash. P dash is uh, X dash, Y dash. We need to find out. Okay. So reflected image minus 1, 0. Uh, here they are asked along, reflect along Y axis. We need to reflect along y-axis. Okay. They are mentioned in the problem. We need to find out along y-axis. Y-axis means this is the reflection of y-axis. The matrix form is minus 1, 0, 0, 1. Y remains in the x is minus 1. X, Y. Okay. That is X naught, Y naught. So, minus 1, 0, 1. What are the X, Y called? Uh, X naught, Y naught? 5, 4. That means you will get minus 5. 4. So, this is P dash. So, now let's try to work out on uh, Q dash. So, Q dash is uh, minus 1, 0, 0, 1 and what are the coordinates? 2, comma 2. So, if you multiply this, you will get minus 2 and 2. Okay. So, now uh, let's take the another one that is R. R dash. Minus 1, 0, 0, 1. What are the uh, R coordinates? 5, 6. So, if you multiply this, you will get minus 5, 6. So, these are all the new coordinates. Now, try to apply this here. So, now P dash. Minus 5, 4. Minus 5 is somewhere here and this is the 4. Okay, this is P dash. And next is Q dash. Minus 2, 2. This is Q dash minus 2, 2. And R dash, R dash minus 5 and this is 6, minus 5 and 6. This is R dash. So, now let's see the triangle how it looks like. This is a reflected image. So, this is the reflection about Y axis. Reflection about Y axis. So, did you find the difference? This is the original coordinates, whatever they are given. We are trying to reflect it along the y-axis. So, if you try to reflect along the y-axis, this is how the mirror image will be appears. So, this is about the 2D reflection students. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.